Thank you for joining us. I'm Jillian Smuckler. After being in the works for almost three years, two small homes have been built for homeless families to move into. As KZI 9 News reporter Emma Withrow shows us, as rent skyrockets, the community is trying their best to get the homeless housed. I believe the city is not focused on building or providing any housing for those who can afford it. The U.S. Census reported that the median gross rent between 2013 and 2017 was $956, which can be difficult for some families. But that's where St. Vincent de Paul and the First Congregational Church comes in. A uh, team here at the church that was looking at um, solutions for homelessness. Both groups joined together in an almost three-year effort to build transitional housing for families in need. The FCC owns the land that the new homes were built on, and the actual construction of the homes was donated by St. Vincent de Paul. The homes consist of a full kitchen, living room, two bedrooms, and a bathroom. People here say rents in Eugene have surged significantly within the last 20 years, but members of the community say they're doing their best to make up for lost time with these new housing modules. And the solution that they're envisioning is this. Oh, our biggest hope was to support homeless families, to help some families have an opportunity to get off the street. Two families will move into these manufactured homes, both consisting of single mothers with multiple children. This project is a part of the First Congregational Church's Connections program, which helps families as they work on building skills such as budgeting and parenting as they transition to permanent housing. So we're so grateful, and I want to share this with you. Reporting in Eugene, Emma Withrow. We believe in the miracle. KZI 9 News.